What's going on everybody, it's Dilmer and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Raven Stories. And when I first saw these glasses, I really got excited about it because I thought they had augmented reality, but it turns out that this is more like the Bose glasses where you have, you know, speakers. There's actually no cameras on the Bose ones, but these ones have cameras. And there are some cool things about it, so I'm, I'm really excited about it. But at the same time, I really wanted to see something more like in the lines of pushing augmented reality. However, I'm really excited about what Facebook is doing and what they're going to be doing towards the actual extended reality industry. So what I'm gonna do today is we're gonna be looking at the, some of the specs, basically look at the device itself. I wanna show you what's in the box. And then I'm gonna also do a couple examples so that you know how the video looks like and how some images look like. So let's get to it. Okay, so here we have it. The Raven story is way better. And as you can see the box, it's really nice and packaged. So it's gonna go ahead and open it up just right here. And the actual model that I ended up getting is the, the Wayfair. And there's also different colors that come with this device. This one is the matte black and also the dark is dark gray. So you guys know the style that I like, so I wanted to keep it, to basically keep it that way. Pull this out here, let's get the sticker out. And then we can use the band here to basically pull it all out. So again, really excited about this. Let me see if I can, there we go. Just pull this right over here. And then we guys can see. So Raven by Facebook. Let's go ahead and get it open. And here's the case. So when I first, uh, my first reaction, when I saw these ones, I was really looking forward to seeing a charger that was going to be USB-C and they actually included the charger, which is USB-C. So you guys can see here, here's a charger that comes with it as well. And then also the case, which, it, which I believe is a charging case. So we'll just take a look in here. Let me go ahead and just put this right here. And then if we get it open, you guys can see the Raven glasses. So the style that I really like, it's black for, for the most part. And if we look in here, the lenses that I got are the dark gray. The frame is the matte color. And then we have the two cameras up front. And looks like we have also a couple of stickers in here. And let's just go ahead and get it out. So this set to be a charging case. So that means that you don't have to get them out to charge them, but I'm trying to look and see where the connection is. Okay, here we go. So we have the USB-C connection in here. So basically the, you don't have to get them out of the case to, to charge them. You can just connect the case there. And here's the other end of the USB-C connector. So I think that's really cool and, and handy, specifically for, you know, cases where you don't, you want to keep them safe. And specifically, if I compare these with, you know, other devices that I currently have, these are the, the B6 blades and the B6 blades have the charger actually on the device itself. So if we look at it right here, there's the, the actual connector. This one is micro USB, which I really wasn't too excited about. It just takes longer to charge where USB-C, it's a lot, you know, it's a lot faster. So the other thing that comes with this is this little manual. It says that you have to download the Facebook View app, which we know that we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to get set up. And then, so we have the safety warranty manual. Just put that aside. Now let's see what else we have. A reference guide, and if we go and look at the reference guide, it just walks you through everything, you know, where the power switch is, what the capture button. I'm gonna keep this handy as I, as I get into the device, but this is a reference guide that we're gonna be using. And then a, a nice little compartment here. So let's go ahead and take a look at the important part, which is why you're looking at this video. So if we take a look at the case again, I just wanna give you a close up. Here is the connection. So there's a connectivity here where you basically, it connects on the back. So if we look at the case here on the back, I'll just get them open. There is a connection, so it's really genius because the connectivity is just right here and it just basically connects to that case in this area. And then we also have another area that kind of matches that same layout. So if you look at the glasses, here are the, the Raven storage glasses. The two cameras up front, like I was telling you about, I believe this one is what they call the, the capture button. So basically gonna be able to capture it there. 
There's also uh, multiple set of speakers. So there are two speakers on these ones, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to, to basically get this because I was comparing this with the actual Bose. But the cool thing with this is these ones have cameras, right? So if I want to capture, you know, what I'm doing, if I'm going outside or if I'm with my kids, then these ones do, you know, I think, I think they'll work better for what I need. The, the other thing this has, as far as like the specs, the, our, the video is about 1184 by 1184. It captures a video at uh, 30 frames per second. And then the image resolution, or what they call the image acquisition, it's about 2500 by 1900, a little bit more than that, to be precise. And there's also a microphone on this. It's actually what they call a three array microphone system that it's going to allow you to basically activate and do controls with voice recognition. So there's also touch on this side and then touch controls, which we're going to be taking a look at. So the next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be downloading the Facebook view app. I already downloaded it, so I'm going to go ahead and hit open. And then you're going to have to use the Facebook, your Facebook account. You can see that it shows a picture of my wife and myself. I'm going to go ahead and go next. It'll walk you through all the steps. I already charged the glasses for about 30 minutes and that gave me enough charge to be able to pair it. So there's actually on the side of the glasses, there's actually a little slider. I'm gonna go ahead and slide it all the way for a few seconds. And you're gonna see that there is also an indicator that is going to show. So let me try that one more time. And it says that start using the glasses, you have to pair it. So you can see the indicator light right there blinking. So I was gonna, I was gonna go ahead and do next. And you can see that now on my phone is basically reflecting what we should see. So we should see a green light and we are, we're looking at a green light right now. So we have a green light, let's go ahead and do an X. Now, if we wanna do pairing mode, we have to do the slider for about five seconds, which is what it's telling us. So we're gonna do the slider here again, and I'm gonna go ahead and hold it for five seconds. So it's gonna do one, two, three, four, five. And you can see that it's now blinking. Uh, in fact, in my app, you can see that now it shows the sunglasses. I'm gonna go ahead and select it and it's currently activating. It's gonna tell me that I need to use the Bluetooth. View would like to find a connect to local network or you'll say yes. And it's actually asking me to update. So I'm just gonna do install and update. It'll take about two minutes to update. As you guys can see, there's also the cameras on side to side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take a couple of pictures so you guys can see it. I'm gonna take a picture by holding the capture button. And you're gonna hear that it's actually taking a picture. I'll take another picture of that area. There's really nothing really cool in my office or beautiful that I can show other than a lot of technology. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start recording. As I am recording, I'm just looking around and I'm gonna show you the playback as soon as we, we finish. There's also the light indicators here that shows you that I'm currently recording. And that is basically for privacy concerns. We wanna make sure that at least something shows up if we have people around it. Personally, I wouldn't want to wear this. I could wear it, but I wouldn't wanna be recording if I'm you know, around people unless I really know them and they know what I'm doing. So that's going to be one of the things that I'm a little concerned about. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop it. So I'm gonna push it again. And then if we go into the app, you're gonna see that now I have four different, uh, you know, videos. So well, some of our videos, some of our pictures that I took, it's gonna tell me if I want to join the Wi-Fi network, I'll just say yes. And as soon as I do that, it's gonna allow me to see what I just recorded, what pictures I took, and also we're gonna be able to do a playback. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the pictures. You gotta see the quality of the image is decent. And these, like I said, it was about 2,500 by 1,900 on the, what they call the image acquisition. I think it's about five megapixel camera um, on both of them. So, and then the videos as well. I'm gonna go so, ahead and hit play. As I am recording, I'm just looking around and I'm gonna show you the playback as soon as we, we finish. So there's also the light indicators. That's really, really cool. I can take videos, I can take photos. I think this is a great device for the future direction of augmented reality and extended reality. So if you guys wanna see more videos with these glasses or, or other glasses, I also have the spectacles that I got from my Snapchat, which I'm going to be showing you in future videos. So if you guys like this, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and also hit a like. 
And if you guys have any other questions, please let me know in the comments. Thank you.